Hello, and thanks for uh, joining me here for this uh, instructional video on affordable ways on how to plan for a book event. And I thought this um, recording was important because I am getting ready for a book event. And as I did my research, I didn't see a lot of quality uh, videos and things like that out there. So I wanted to take time to put something together uh, for you that may be uh, planning your next book event, or maybe you have even shied away from doing book events because uh, you don't know what to expect or what to prepare for. Now, naturally so, you know, we, we authors, we think that when we write a book, that it's automatically going to sell itself. But it's actually a lot of work uh, put into it, whether you're with a publisher or whether you're self-published, whatever that looks like. It's going to take a lot of work on your part to actually get out and market and uh, let people know who you are, no matter how great your product is. So this is why this uh, video is so important. And so I wanted to share with you uh, some of the things that I have done to plan for the upcoming uh, event. I want I'm gonna also share and show some of my uh, products with you. And I'm also going to share with you where I uh, got some of these products and uh, the prices on them. So uh, many of this stuff I did myself, you know, uh, using Canva and some of the other uh, free and affordable resources that uh, you may already be using. Many of these things you can already create yourself. So nonetheless, uh, let's get started. First of all, let's talk about some of the things that we're going to need uh, for the book event, because I think that has been my uh, biggest challenge in understanding and trying to figure out what exactly do I need? Now, automatically, we know we need books. <laughs> we we know that if we're going to a book event, whether it's a book festival, a book fair, a book signing, whatever it is, we know that our books are basically going to be number one, uh, some of the things that uh, we're going to need. So uh, here, you know, I, I, I bought several copies of my uh, initial book, my primary book, uh, Recreating a Better Me. And my I bought even more copies of my newest book, which is Financial Education Simplified. Now, that's important that I mentioned uh, both of these books, because number one, Usually your primary book is going to be your biggest seller. It, it's probably sold more than any other books that you have, whether in a series or, uh, or, or uh, books you've written, if you've written more than one. But yet most book events, the book fairs and festivals require that you bring and market your most recent book. And so that's also gonna be important. So what I did was order several copies of my primary book and also even more copies of my latest book. And what I did since I am an author of several books is I have collectively put together a bundle with the entire set for me to offer also at uh, this festival. So as you can see, there's uh, all six of the books in, in, in my collection there that I will offer, uh, just like you see here, already packaged up in a bundle uh, to give gifting uh, ideas. And I'll talk more about that later. I'll lay these out and one of my latest books, which is Financial Education Simplified, I'll lay that out on the table. 
So this is absolutely what you know that you're going to need. So you want to make sure that you have enough of your books uh, with you that you would like to sell for this particular uh, event that you are uh, attending and getting prepared. Next, what you're going to need are uh, business cards, so to speak. Uh, and as you can see, uh, my banner here on uh, the back of me, this is something that I created in Canva. And it's also uh, what my business card uh, looks like. So if you can see, all I did was take uh, a banner that I created in Canva and made a business uh, card uh, out of it. So this is what I will be sharing uh, with the people that I meet during the networking phase of the uh, festival and also uh, just conversational pieces. Now, I created this in Canva and I also had Canva print these. So they come in a box of 50 and they come right to your uh, door. So for a box of 50, this cost me uh, $15. So this was the $15 I invested. I put a cue card on it. Um, I guess here, put a cue card on it so that um, anybody that wants to connect with me, uh, even if they're uh, visually impaired and maybe the font is not just so-so uh, for them, all they have to do is scan that cue card and it takes them right to my link tree. In my link tree, uh, they have access to free digital products. They have access to uh, my calendar where they can schedule a connection call with me. Also my podcast and every other thing that uh, I have there in that link, they through one cue card or through one uh, link that they put in uh, their computer have direct access to whatever it is that I have to offer. And so this is just an easy way to do it. Uh, when I was researching, I saw many business cards, many of them uh, displaying the books and things like that, but I didn't see any that had the cue card. And I thought that the cue card was a great uh, way to allow uh, easy access to uh, not only me, but uh, my products and every other thing that I have to offer. Now, I made the decision not to uh, put a picture of my book or, or, or books on the business card because I have several uh, other businesses and um, I may want to use those business cards for other things. But in that link tree and uh, access, when they... Uh, click the cue card, they do also have access to my books and other products uh, like that as well. So you feel free to create your book uh, business cards, however uh, you choose. This is just the way that I've chosen to uh, do it for this particular event. Uh, and I think that it's what's going to work best for me. So the main two things that you're going to need uh, when attending book festivals, book fairs, or book signing events, whatever it looks like, what you're going to need is your books and you're going to need your business card, something tangible that uh, the people that engage with you can actually have in their hands. They'll remember you more uh, when there's something tangible that uh, they can have and keep in uh, business cards or a nice subtle way of making that exchange and something that uh, people tend to usually uh, keep. Now, with that being said, what else do you need? <laughs> well, the only other thing that I can sit here and honestly say that you absolutely need is something that don't cost you anything at all, and that's a conversation starter. You have to 
plan on how you're going to engage the people who frequent your table or visit your booth or come to your uh, book signing. Naturally, if it's a book signing event, something that you're doing and that you're promoting and putting on yourself or something that your publisher is doing, people are going to frequent you because they're already familiar with you or your work. That That's understood. But what about these book festivals and book fairs and things like this that we attend that the people uh, are just random people who love uh, books or frequenting uh, the event and they may or may not know us. And yet here we are with hundreds of other authors who have great products and things like that. What's going to help us stand apart, stand out in the midst of such an oversaturated uh, event? And so one of the things that I could come up with uh, was just having a, a plan for good conversation starters. And what does that look like? And me, if you're like me, I'm not the most social butterfly in the, <laughs> in the room. So, uh, you know, it takes effort on my part to, to plan. And so, uh, you know that if it's a book event, the people that are there uh, probably love books. And so one conversation piece that uh, you can start, a conversation that you can start is, what type of books do you enjoy reading? That will usually uh, open people up to, to uh, engage in conversation with you. Um, it would also give you an opportunity to see as they speak anything that you have that you may can offer and then suggest to them. So it's a good conversation opener and starter just to break the ice. And you at that point, all you have to do is listen. Another conversation starter that I've thought about that I could engage uh, the people at the upcoming event is, uh, do you write? Some people uh, love to read and they never written a thing, or maybe they journal and they write, but they never thought about publishing and putting their works into uh, a published finished product. And so that could be another conversation starter that is a little different, you know, to, to ask somebody, uh, do you write, you know, that lets you know, uh, a little, little bit more details about them. And you may even find that some may write and some may have thought, uh, for years that they would love to become a published author, but never did anything uh, to advance on that dream. So think of conversation. Now, basically, let me just say, if you're doing an event and you want to keep it as affordable as possible, that's really all you're going to need. You're going to need your books, your uh, business card, something that you can exchange and a conversation, hands down. Uh, and that's probably gonna be the most affordable way. But yet, as I planned for my particular event uh, all together, I'm gonna share with you some other things that I've included in uh, preparing for the event that has also been affordable. And it is um, what I'm going to use for uh, the upcoming event that I'm planning for. So um, another thing that I wanted to uh, include in this event uh, or that I will be attending is some bags. If someone makes a purchase from me, I don't want them to just be walking around with, uh, say, a, a book in their hand or something of such. 
So what I did was purchase these uh, frosted bags from Amazon. And I got a pack of 50 of these uh, bags for $17.99. So as you can see, they're just uh, clear bags. They seem to be pretty sturdy. Uh, so they're just clear bags. And the dimension on these, I wanted to put that out there for you guys in case you're wondering the size of it is 10 by 12 by four. 10 by 12 by four. And so if I take, say my book here, you can see that my book here fits right off in this bag. Fit right off in that bag, right? So all I did to the bag was take one of the things I created in Canva. I created this in Canva. So all I did was take that and print it off on a stick of paper. I printed two per page. So this is now a five by uh, seven, five by seven. So I, I uh, printed it off from Canva with some regular uh, sticker paper that I purchased from Walmart. And I cut it out and I placed one on each side of the bag. That's all I did. So very affordable way to uh, not only um, give people who purchase from me something to um, carry their stuff in if, if they buy books, but also, as you can see, that cue card there, another way for them to have access to my books. And also, if you can see there where it says, follow me, it shows also my link tree, also another way for them to uh, connect with me, which is what I like for people to do. I like for people to stay connected uh, with me. Some people come to events, they may not uh, uh, have budgeted, but a few things to, from some of their favorite authors. So you want to allow them access on how to uh, shop with you uh, in the future if they so choose. Uh, so this particular uh, cue card here on this uh, bag that I put on the bag is actually to my books. So this actually takes them to my uh, author uh, page on Amazon to where they have direct access to every format of every book that I've written. This link tree, however, like I said before and earlier in this, takes them to everything that I uh, uh, have available in that link, which also includes my digital products, also includes my... Um, podcast and other things like that. Access to my calendar in case they want to work with me. And so this bag is a uh, another way to keep your face uh, visible. Another way that offers uh, the people that come through access to you and it is affordable because most of it, you're doing it yourself. Most of it, you, you, you've made this on Canva. It didn't cost you a thing. You print it out right from home on your um, uh, printer. And all you're doing is taking time to cut it out and uh, put it on to your bag, which is very, very affordable at that point. And so another thing that I have done, uh, I know that you guys remember the banner that I have up next to me and also the bookmark that uh, I showed you earlier. Another thing that uh, I done was uh, print out, uh, it's the same thing. It's the same format as uh, the book card, if you, the uh, business card, if you remember. This is the same thing. 
This I printed on Canva and I paid $15 for. This I printed at home and it cost me absolutely nothing. It's just on regular uh, paper. I printed out uh, six to, uh, no, I actually printed out nine uh, to a sheet of paper. I cut them out and all I did was use a uh, Mod Podge uh, glue tapered around the label of a water bottle. And this is another uh, inexpensive way that you can keep your face and your brand. And it can also be a conversation piece that you keep in front of other people that frequent your table or just frequent the event. Uh, many people who attend events, they do not necessarily uh, plan properly. It could be uh, hot. Uh, and when people are engaged in conversations, their uh, throat can tend to be dry. And what a awesome conversation starter, a way to engage with someone who may not even frequent your table is to offer them a bottle of water. Now we know that we can buy a case of water for uh, under five bucks usually. So you can get a case of water and you can uh, print uh, as many labels as you like, uh, tape it onto a bottle of water. And even if they uh, don't necessarily uh, frequent your table for that event, they still have access to uh, you, your branding, and it also just like the business card, like I said, it has there the cue card that all they have to do if they're curious enough is to scan that cue card and have access to me and to see um, what it is that I have to offer. And so this cost me absolutely uh, nothing but a case of water and uh, I printed it straight from home. Voila. And I know some of you, you can say, well, can you just, uh, and, and I could have printed that out on sticker paper too, but it's a lot cheaper and more affordable to just pin, uh, print it out on uh, regular paper. And I had already Mod Podge and things like that around the house uh, that I could just use. You can even use uh, scotch tape or something like that. Just as long as uh, you get it on the bottle, people have access to you. So it's really affordable. You think about a way that you can do it as affordable as uh, you choose for yourself. So another thing that uh, I have printed up on Canva are these um, little cards here. Now I printed these out on card stock paper. And these can be used as bookmarks. They cost me absolutely uh, nothing. I made it in Canva. Uh, and it shows a copy of my books. It also shows uh, here the type of uh, books that I uh, write. It shows also that I offer online courses, digital content, podcasts and so much more in a way that they can uh, follow me by using that link tree. And so I just printed these off on card stock, um, excuse me, card stock paper, which is a little heavier uh, paper than just regular uh, copy paper. And I made them in three different sizes. This is just something that I'll lay out on the table that people will come through and have access to. They can um, take it with them. It's something that they can use as a bookmark if they purchased a book. And uh, it's inexpensive. Looks neat. It, it, it goes right along with my branding. Uh, and uh, it, it looks very neat. Now, with that being said, also from this that you see, I've uploaded that same um, picture there. I uploaded into Vistaprint 
to create this beautiful uh, banner. This banner is a um, 12 by 24. And Vistaprint had a sale and I was able to print this banner as well as another banner uh, for uh, $5.24 each. So a nice size uh, banner that I framed. And of course, you can see that I uh, busted this frame <laughs> and I'll be replacing that. And I'll talk a little bit about the frame too. But a nice size, 12 by 24, it's a nice size that I can either lay out uh, on an easel on top of the table or I can lay it uh place it on the floor at each corner of my table and I would have a nice display uh, of uh, my books that I offer also uh, a way that people can have access to me through that link tree. Now this frame is a also a 12 by 24 uh, frame. It's pretty heavy, it's pretty sturdy. I picked it up from um, Hobby Lobby. Uh, Hobby Lobby currently has a uh, sale on their frames for 50% off. And as you can see, this particular frame was $19.99. So I was able to purchase this frame for uh, $10.81. So very inexpensive way, uh, a, a way of very inexpensive way of, of displaying your banners. All right, so another thing that um, I made up in Canva and that I printed from my own um, printer here at the house is this uh, trifold uh, brochure. And so I was able to make this up uh, here at the house from uh, my own computer. As you can see, my branding uh, here, uh, a thank you for uh, them visiting my table. Also, uh, in this brochure, um, there are some uh, deals, some uh, event deals that I put together. You remember me showing you the uh, bundle of books that I put already had wrapped up, ready to go uh, there in the beginning. So uh, it just tells you a little bit about that bundle. Um, and it also lets them know that it's a limited supply. So only why available. Also, it uh, lets them know that that's some uh, gifting ideas, you know. And so it also uh, gives them uh, kind of a way of start thinking about, hey, if I buy this, uh, it makes a good uh, gift idea. And so some of the gifting ideas that um, uh, for people that they may not even think about is for graduation, birthdays, Christmas, anniversaries, people who are recently divorced, adult children, moms, widowers, and entrepreneurs. And so it, there's a cue card uh, there that takes them also to uh, my Arthur uh, page on Amazon to where they can order any format or version of my books um, that they may want. Also here um, is a section that I added in the brochure uh, regarding uh, resources and this uh, link uh, our Q code here would probably take them, I believe, to my uh, YouTube channel or a podcast or something of that nature. I'm thinking it's to the YouTube channel to where uh, they can have automatic um, on-demand access to uh, some of my podcasts that I have available there on uh, my YouTube channel. Another section uh, is, like I said, the conversation starter the conversation starter. So for people who, uh, you know, if I say, do you write? 
and maybe writing is something that uh, they have wanted to do, but they never um, uh, 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 got intentional with uh, writing or didn't know where to start to uh, publish something that they already write. This is a special offer that I also have available for uh, people who frequent the event who may want to write or may want to uh, gift this course to someone else. And with this uh, Q card, with this QR code uh, here, excuse me, uh, with this QR code right here, all they have to do is scan that. It takes them automatically to the special event pricing that I have for that digital product, which is something that I already sell at regular price for $49.99. Uh, but for this special event, just for attending this event, for someone who wants to write, they're going to get a drastic discount and be able to purchase that uh, for uh, someone themselves or for someone else for only $9.99. So they're getting $40 off. Now, also at the bottom of that, you can see that I'm uh, letting them know that this makes a great and affordable gift idea for an aspiring author uh, or poet. And so for someone who writes, they may say, oh, I think uh, my niece or nephew write and that would be a good inexpensive gift that they can purchase and it's downloaded right to uh, their email addresses or whatever. And they can make a inexpensive purchase to uh, someone of that nature. Uh, and so what I've also did for someone who may not pick up one of these uh, brochures at my table, I also printed this out, which is just a signage that also has that same offer uh, there. It tells who would benefit from this product, who would this be a good gift for, and also the QR code to that product that they can purchase at this event for a limited time only at a drastically reduced price. And so it's just a good way that they can either see it here in this uh, trifold a brochure that I made myself strictly from Canva. And um, it will be displayed on the table. Um, and let me show you just in a glass uh, container, blinged it out. Uh, something I already had laid around the house that uh, I may have used for another event. And it's something tangible that people can also pick up and take with them when they uh, are at the event. Something that's tangible. Another inexpensive uh, way to uh, engage with people uh, is they say it's important when I was doing research to uh, build your mailing list or your email list while you're at uh, events like this. So it's a good way to get uh, people to uh, leave you their information so that you can market to them at a later date. I'm telling you, when you go to events and there's hundreds of authors and people like that in the room, uh, you may get overlooked. <laughs> there may not be enough in their budget that they have to uh, spend with you and every other hundreds of uh, authors and things in the room. So you want to have a way to um, have access and to connect with these people later. So another way that I did that is by creating, again, this in Canva. It's, it's, I put it on cardstock paper and uh, got these uh, little plastic um uh, clear frames from the Dollar Tree, my local Dollar Tree, which is one of my favorite stores. <laughs> it's affordable way. I haven't taken the plastic off of it, so it may not 
be clear, I won't take the plastic off until I actually get to the event. But you can see um, that I have here where I'm talking about join my mailing list. It shows my brand and uh, it tells them exactly how they can uh, scan to sign up. They can scan this uh, QR code. Notice that I put QR codes on a lot of things. People are, uh, are uh, text uh, sweat, uh, savvy now. So most people have their devices on them and they can just scan it and, and go directly to uh, my link where they can join my mailing list and put their information in. Also, it can also... They can follow me at that link tree. They know how to access me. But also on my computer, um, which this uh, kind of go hand in hand, I'll have this laid out on the table as such. They can scan this and join my metal, uh, mailing list digitally, or they can uh, use my clipboard that will be laying at the table where they can do it manually and I'll put the information in uh, myself. And so you also want them to know or have an idea of what they're signing up for. And when you join my mailing list, uh, my mailing list, not only am I uh, selling to you, but it's a way that you can receive free gifts and digital content and so much more. So you want them to know exactly what they're signing up for when they're exchanging that uh, information with you uh, and be honest, you know, uh, and oftentimes, you know, I like to send uh, just random uh, people in my, on my mailing list during the holidays and other times throughout the year, I like to send just random uh, gifts and do drawings and things like that. And rather than doing it from uh, my social media page, people who are associate, uh, affiliated with me on my friends and who are following me on social media, usually I keep it a little more personal by only uh, giving away gifts and offering free uh, gifts and products to uh, the people that are on my mailing list. So um, I consider this uh, a privilege to be on my mailing list. And also it's a way that I can stay uh, connected and build up my um, marketing leads to the people who actually frequent uh, with me and shop with me, okay? So that's another thing. Uh, another thing that uh, you're probably going to want to invest in. I know I showed you the water bottle earlier, but uh, a little bowl with uh, candies of some sort. When people are, um, uh, are attending these events and sometimes they have their families with them and little kids and things like that, you want to keep a small bowl of candies. Now, I wouldn't suggest getting a great uh, big old bowl and filling it up with candy because then you're just going to have uh, those freebie seekers uh, coming through and they're eating all your candy and taking all of your candy and they're not there to purchase any products for you. And so I would say keep it small. This is just a little small uh, plastic bowl that I purchased from Dollar Tree. They come in a packs of four. This is something I already had uh, laying around in the house. And I will keep a few pieces of candy uh, in this um, at a time and um, just fill it up as I need to, just to kind of ration it out for people who frequent my table. And so it's an inexpensive way to give uh, something uh, that people can enjoy or may enjoy, but also it keeps from um, you just putting yourself out there uh, to, to to giving things away and 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 not having uh, any. Um, gain or or any uh thing that you can um cash in on on the other side so just a few pieces of candy in a small bowl 
on your table that's also something tangible and when someone is taking something off your table you already have your conversation starters <laughs> that you're going to be ready to uh, engage uh, people with and so as they're taking candies and looking at some of the things that you have displayed on your table that's an opportunity to, that you can use to um, for a conversation starter to see how you may be able to assist uh, or have a product uh, that they may benefit from or may actually enjoy. Now, the candy that I particularly purchased uh, for this event that uh, I'm going to do, uh, I bought it from Amazon. I bought a bulk of chocolate candy and uh, I paid less than $10 for it. So less than $10 for it. Uh, I bought that bag of candy and the uh, bags. If you remember the bags that I showed you at the same time, which also uh, being that um, the purchase, I purchased them together. It also allowed me to uh, make that purchase with uh, free shipping. <laughs> so uh, it, it was just a, a awesome uh, value to uh, be able to do that. Now, other things that uh, I, I purchased for this particular event, and not necessarily for this particular event, but things that I could use later on uh, for other events as well, is I purchased a uh, black tablecloth. This is uh, polyester. It's very sturdy and uh, heavy. Uh, you can see it says uh, black polyester there. And so it's very heavy and sturdy. Uh, the size of this particular tablecloth is 90 by 132, 90 inches by 132 inch. Uh, I bought it from Tablecloths Factory. Let me see exactly uh, what that is. Yes, it's tablecloughsfactory.com. I paid $11.39 for the tablecloth. And then also, uh, I purchased these table runners from that same website. Again, that's tablecloughsfactory.com. And I ordered these table runners. These table runners, the dimension on that is 12 inch by 108. It is also polyester. And on each end of the tablecloth, I'm partnered with a uh, another small business owner to uh, put my branding on each end of the tablecloths. I mean, the table runners. So this table runner in particular, uh, I paid uh, $1.29 uh, for the table runners itself, $1.29 uh, each. And I purchased them in uh, white and also in this uh, light blue uh, branding as well. And like I said, the table runners were just plain. I just had my branding uh, put on it by using uh, another small business owner to do that for me, to print that on the table runners for me. And like I said, I got them in uh, two different colors. I got a white and I got also this light blue that uh, I had printed up on those runners. I paid $1.29 uh, for it. each of the runners and I got to uh, reach. So very inexpensive there. Um, and to just add your branding on them, to have someone that you may know to, or, or to have it done locally to add your branding on it, that is a good investment. 
Also, another uh, thing that I've uh, done was have t-shirts made with my branding on it as well. So, uh, and also in two different colors. This particular event that I'm going to is a, uh, a two-day event. And so I have a color for uh, each day with my branding, tells them how they can uh, link up with me. And uh, I can also coordinate these runners uh, with the day of the event that I wear uh, these particular uh, branding shirts as well. Now, my shirts in particular cost me $20 to have them made. Uh, the fabric is very uh, doable and uh, breathable. And um, the quality of uh, this product uh, that I also had made uh, is very good. I, I think that they did a, a very good job on uh, those shirts. And so uh, if you don't know anyone that could particularly customize uh, shirts and things like that for you as a uniform, then if you um, would leave uh, me a message in the comments or something, that's something that I could uh, send uh, information that I can send to you uh, because who I use is very affordable. And uh, like I said, the quality of our work is really good. Another thing that uh, you're going to need when you go to events that sometimes we don't even think about uh, when we're looking at these events is you're going to need a money box. <laughs> you're going to need a place uh, to store uh, your money, something that uh, you already have uh, planned and have changed. Uh, you want to think ahead. And so you want to bring plenty of change uh, for customers who uh, may shop with cash. Um, and you want this uh, to be locked. You want something that's locked and uh, something that uh, somebody, even if they take off with it, because <laughs> people still, when you go to these <laughs> events, don't, don't let your guard down to think that people don't steal. There are people that uh, steal. And so you want uh, something that you can lock and potentially keep uh, safe. And I would even go as far to say as to uh, put a sticker or something on here that uh, displays your brand that is not uh, easily uh, removed. <laughs> and it's gonna take some effort to remove, uh, not only here where it's visible, but also maybe even where it's not visible for someone who's trying to get away with your stuff. So a locked place to store your money. That's also an investment that uh, you may want to uh, make to um, secure uh, your uh, funds that, that you make from your sales. Another thing uh, that is important is uh, a way to uh, accept uh, credit card payments. Some people shop with credit cards and don't carry a lot of cash when they go to, to those events. So uh, Square or PayPal here or something of that nature may be an option that you would like to invest in for not only an event that you are planning to attend in the near future, but something that you can also utilize uh, in the future, especially when you're going out locally and things like that to uh, market your products. So, um, oh, another thing uh, that I just printed off uh, from, uh, just the internet is a sign that I will display talking about the types of payments that uh, I will accept. And this is something that will be laid out on uh, my table in one of those clear frames as well. Another thing that um, I thought would be um, good to have another signage uh, on the table again is the same uh, 
graphic that I've made up on Canva and used for several other things that you see uh, laid out on the table. This is also the same print that I printed on sticker paper and attached to my uh, plastic bags. Uh, not everybody likes paperback books. And oftentimes when we go to these events, that's what we bring. We bring the paperback uh, books. If you are an author that has books that are offered in other formats, this may be a good idea. So it is a signage that uh, lists a description of all my uh, other books. It tells what format that they can get them in, get, get those books in. And there's also the QR code that takes them directly to my author page on Amazon, where if they like the digital books, they can purchase the digital books. If they like the audio books, they can purchase the audio version of these books. And if they like hardback books, they can also purchase the hardback copies of the books in those that I have them available in. And each one of these gives a description of uh, what type of format uh, those books are in, if you can see it, see it there. So it lets them know. And so if they prefer a, another option for uh, how they want their books, this is a good signage to have out on the table that would allow them access to purchase, actually purchase that uh, while they're there uh, engaging in a uh, conversation with you from your table. Again, that costs me nothing the, uh, except for the uh, the clear frame that I got from the Dollar Tree. It was something that I've already had here at the house on hand. So again, you know, these things have cost me uh, little to nothing at all. It's something that's reusable that you can use over and over uh, again. So this is the way that I have planned. Now I can't tell you exactly how I plan to display uh, my stuff on the table. That's gonna be totally up to you how you plan to display uh, your items once you have them made or have made those purchases. How you display it is gonna be up to your discretion. Uh, there are some videos that I've seen uh, on YouTube uh, that shows how to uh, display uh, some of your items. I would say that some of what I've seen when it comes to displaying your items uh, looked a little cluttered or junked up to me um, for, for my personality and my taste, and it doesn't necessarily mesh with my brand. So what I would... Um, suggest is that if you have a six foot table is that you use that space wisely as not to uh, clutter up your space, but just lay a few of your products uh, on the table at a time uh, that people can have a clear uh, view of what you have to offer. It also uh, gives the um, the urgency that if you don't have a uh, 20 books laid out on the table, maybe you just have two or three. It also uh, gives the uh, sense of urgency that she doesn't have very many uh, books left. I better go ahead and get the book now uh, kind of thing. That scarcity uh, strategy for uh, getting people to actually buy. So keep uh, most of your products under uh, your table where it's covered out of the sight of uh, those who are, are walking uh, through. Keep a few things out on the table. Keep your table and your space uh, nice and neat uh, to where people have clear access of what it is that they're looking at. Use you as uh, your selling point. Use you as your selling point. And that's engaging with people, having that uh, 
face-to-face conversation, uh, conversation starters, using the other things that speak for itself as far as your marketing and your branding and just overall uh, getting to know people and what it is that uh, they're looking for when they frequent these events and use that information to help you as you plan for future events. I wish you well in your efforts uh, to um, plan your next event, whatever that looks like. And if you have some affordable tips that you would like to share, uh, please leave it in the comment section. Uh, I would love to uh, hear your affordable tips as well on things that you've done to uh, plan to set up for uh, book events. Nonetheless, I am Antricia Bray and uh, connect with me at my link tree at link tree slash Antricia Bray. Again, that's link tree slash Antricia Bray. I'd love to connect with you. Good luck.